Hey guys, this is Jay Calderon with Jay Unboxing here giving you a personal prediction for the light heavyweight contest between rising star Joshua Boatze and Latvia's Richards Bolotniks. I apologize, by the way, if I am butchering that last name for Bolotniks. That's how I'm going to be saying it throughout this entire video. Just so if I am butchering it, at least I'm only doing it in one fashion. In any event, as always, this is just my take and my personal prediction. Yours can be left down in the comments section below. Would love to hear them all. A little bit of fight info here. You have Watsi versus Polotniks. The venue is going to be, of course, at the Matchroom Fight Camp in Brentwood, Essex, United Kingdom. This is, of course, at the Matchroom headquarters, airing live on DAZN. It is a light heavyweight clash. No title on the line, but certainly a kind of step in the right direction for Boatsy as he looks to try and, you know, progress his professional career. And in many respects, to be fair, this is a stepping stone fight for Buatzi, at least on paper. That's the expectation. Bolotnik's been around, troubled some European-level fighters, but has otherwise made himself known as limited. So this is more a test of how good Buatzi can look and whether or not he can really make a statement, or will Bolotnik's pull off the huge upset. That's kind of the way it goes here. It's not necessarily going to be competitive. It's either Bolotniks is something we've never seen him to be, or we're going to look to kind of see how good Bolotzi actually can be. So without much more chatter, let's get into the breakdown. Starting with Bolotniks here, I think he needs to make sure to get on the inside. While their dimensions aren't drastically different, with Bolotniks only an inch shorter and with only less of about an inch in terms of reach, their fighting styles make their dimensions much more noticeable. Bolotzi can at times be more rangy, while Bolotniks is really only going to be effective on the inside, or at least going in, in terms of kind of with bursts and sort of an attacking mentality. So moving his head and using that jab, even just as a diversion to blind his man, will be key to Richards getting inside and being successful on the night. I would also say don't allow Boatsy to keep it a boxing match. Boatsy will, liking to apply pressure at times, is going to more often than not be a boxer puncher at his best. And if you allow him to keep it a pure boxing match, it's not going to favor Bolotniks. So roughing up Boatsy on the inside, tripping him up, pressing him back, pushing him on the ropes, these are all tactics that should be employed to make it more of a war than a boxing contest. The uglier the better for Bolotniks, in other words. I would also say don't be afraid to mix in some lead right hands. One shot I noticed Bolotniks has some decent success with is the lead right hand. In general, he'll try to set it up with a bit of a jab, but jabs aren't always going to be there for him, and that's not always going to be the case. So at times, when he's in between switching stances or moving side to side, Bolotniks can throw that lead right in a somewhat surprising manner, and it lands pretty well for him. Boatsy is the better boxer, so throwing a more unorthodox shot like that makes it have a better chance of landing than maybe a more traditional one-two combo. Now for Boatsy to win, I think the left hand can work up and downstairs. Boatsy has a very good left hand slash hook, and it'll likely be the key for his success on the night. However, a way to both score and tame Bolotniks early is by varying where he intends to land the left hook. While he will certainly land it upstairs, and he'll look to do so, scoring to the body will slow Bolotniks down and lower his guard, and it'll also take a bit of energy out of him. The body work will open up all the other doors for Bolotsi's offense and make it a lot easier down the stretch to land those kind of shots when Bolotniks is a little more tired, a little more ragged, and has his guard down a little more. I would also say keep your combinations tight. When he gets going, Boatsy strings together his shots really well and lands solid combinations. The constant offense is what will likely keep Bolotniks backing up a bit more as well, which is also beneficial to Boatsy. Still, you don't want your shots to be wild and all over the place. Keep your shots tight. Let the combinations be short but effective. This will draw the wild responses out of Bolotniks, which gives you the chance in turn to counter and make him pay for it. Finally, I would say don't forget the head movement. Bawatsi, while skilled and a versatile fighter, can at times get caught being a little too upright, a little too stiff. And against an erratic at times fighter like Bolotniks, that could mean any number of unconventional shots could land if you're not moving that head. Bawatsi doesn't have to turn into Pernell Whitaker in there, but keep your head off a straight line and be sure to look for the shots coming back during exchanges so that you can dip under and slip, even if just at the last second to take some of the impact off those shots. And in terms of my pick here, the truth is this seems a very obvious choice for me, with Boatsy being the only reasonable choice I can make. Bolotnix is decent enough, and he has a chance, of course, but Boatsy is really coming into his own and seems to be improving most of the times that he comes out, so this will show itself in this fight, I believe. After a round or two of feeling his man out, I expect Boatsy to begin to get his combinations going and possibly hurt Bolotnix in the maybe third, fourth, or fifth round, and soon thereafter, the Boatsy left hand will ultimately spell the end of the fight. Boatsy via mid-fight stoppage. 
and the betting odds seem to kind of go with me in terms of my prediction here. Boatsy is a minus 1,200 favorite, so in other words, unless something drastic happens, it's very likely that Boatsy wins here. He also is, of course, being the home fighter here, going to have the benefit of the doubt in any kind of close encounters, and you have Bolotniks at a plus 680, so it's, you know, he's just not obviously the favorite fighter. If you don't happen to be a believer in Boatsy, this, of course, could be one of those long shots you might look to call, but for the most part, there's not a lot of value in either bet in a heads-up situation. In any event, my prediction record going into the weekend is 25-7-3 with 11 exact. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, down in the comments. What do you think of the fight? How well do you think Boatze is going to do? Do you think Bolotnik has what it takes to pull off the upset here? Love to hear your thoughts, predictions, bets, so on and so forth. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow at jcalderon underscore job on Twitter. And you can email me at jonboxing at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you there. Also, be sure to check out jonboxing.com for schedule results, betting odds, rankings, so on and so forth. And as always... Until next time.